Hey, what's going on guys? It's Archer and Mark here, and I'm back with another Star Wars review. And this time I have a Lego Star Wars review. This is from Series 2 of the Micro Fighters. This is the At-At. And it's a very cool set. This is, without a doubt, one of my most favorite sets that I've picked up in, in a long time. There's just something so cool uh, about the set, the look of it, and I just... I'm very happy to have added this to my collection. I will give you a closer look in a moment. First, of course, we'll show you the box. Again, the artwork uh, on these Lego boxes are so great. Uh, brings me back to like the old kind of Kenner box, the way they do, do these little dioramas. Uh, but there you have the Lego Star Wars logos, uh, ages 6 to 12. This is set number 75075, the at, -at uh, 88 pieces. And we go down, Micro Fires is from Series 2. And you got a cool image of the AT-AT uh, in this little fantasy situation. you got the snow in the background and laser blasts. And, of course, the uh, the driver sitting there on the front. Okay. And not much on the bottom or the sides. On this side, you do have a close-up image of the AT-AT driver. And we'll show you, turn around to the back. And again, uh, Lego Star Wars, uh, more cool images of the figure and vehicle itself, uh, showing the one feature that, of course, these Lego sets all have. You have the uh, little flick missiles. Uh, down here, lego.com slash Star Wars, all the various sets. Uh, I've mentioned before that I'm not too interested in a lot of these. Uh, the only other one I would get is the the uh, Republic gunship. I just like the look of that. Of course, the snow speeder I've already reviewed. And there's the other vehicles. And here, here's a little ad here for the, the Lego Star Wars Micro Fighter game, uh, which I have not played. Uh, I'd be curious to see if, if anyone has played this, if they, is it any good? Is it is it fun? Is it is it junk? Is it full of bugs? I don't know. Let me know if anyone's played this game. I'm curious. Uh, there's the other sets. Okay, so there's the box. And, of course, every Lego set needs a little manual. Of course, this is very thin. It's a s small, thin little manual. Uh, there's a small amount of pieces. And, again, you know, just step by step, brick by brick, uh, it shows you how to put this thing together. Uh, it's not uh, very difficult at all. But... You know, it's nice to have. So there we go. There's the manual. Now we'll take a look at the vehicle and figure. We'll show you the minifig itself. Okay, so here, here's your minifig. And just the printing and the sculpt of this guy. You know, you have the printing on the front and down the legs and on the back looks very cool. What makes this guy so cool is the helmet. I'll, just, I'll take it off. I'll show you that in a short. Let's just show you the face. He's got that like evil, angry face. Like I would think most Imperials are usually angry. They're they're the bad guys. They're the villains. Uh, no double printing on. It's just the one face. What we do have. Let's show you that helmet. Looks very cool. Just like the sculpting, and it's like that kind of grayish, whitish gray uh, paint. A little bit of black, a little bit of red there with the Imperial insignias there. Very cool. I just, I love the look of this helmet. It looks so great. Okay, and we'll just stick that on his head. And he's ready for action. And he has his little uh, blaster pistol there, his Lego blaster pistol. Again, the older versions. I'm not big on these newer versions with like the, the little pieces that fire around. These just look better to me. I wish they just uh, stuck with this. Uh, but I think those new ones are just about a well, little more play value maybe and that's, you know, that's probably why they went with those but, you know, we'll deal. So we'll sit him down there and we'll pick this back up. Let's show you a closer look at the vehicle. And again, you know, when you put these sets together, even if it's a bigger set or smaller set like this, you know, as you're fitting it together, step by step, 
Maybe it doesn't look like the vehicle right away, but the closer you get, you really see as it takes shape. And it's just really, and I love the overall look of this. Uh, it just looks great. You know, uh, just, you get it all together and it starts, as it starts to take form and take shape, you get that, that at had the at at legs and the head and that, you know, they were such cool vehicles uh, in the Empire Strikes Back. Uh, we've seen at uh It has sort of the cameo appearance in Return of the Jedi. And we saw at uh in, in various comic books. There have been a couple other appearances. And it's just so unique. And, of course, we, we saw similar vehicles in the, in the prequels, uh, which was a nice nod. But I just, I just love... The, the look at this. It's just really well done. It, you know, mostly kind of off-white. These are not exactly completely white. They're more of an off-white color. Uh, then you have kind of darker grays and blacks. And, of course, uh, the red on the flick missiles. And that one red brick for the cockpit there. Uh, very cool. And you have some articulation here with the legs. Each of the legs will move up like backwards and forwards like this. And you get sort of, I guess you can call it ankle articulation there. Uh, so you can position this in a couple of different ways and still get them standing. Uh, these guns here will move up and down. And of course you do uh, have the, the flick missiles. We'll try and get this to, oh, that didn't work. They don't always work this right the first time. There we go. That that's a little better. So there's the the flick missiles, and you know we've all seen these before. But I'll just show you. Uh, that's what they look like there. Uh, so it's very cool vehicle, and it's it's just this has got to be one of the most popular imperial vehicles, I would think. You know everyone loves. It's one of the things that makes Empire Strikes Back such an amazing movie. Uh, so we'll take the vehicle, and let's we'll take our little minifig there. And again, he just sits there. You sit him there. You can get him a little more secure than that. Well, that's good enough for now. And, you know, he's there, and he's got his blaster pistol. And it's just ready to uh, go into battle. And uh, uh, one other thing. You have, because you have this kind of ratchety joint, the head will move up and down as well. So, you know, so even more uh, articulation, various ways you can uh, pose this guy. So, but he's, you know, ready to go into battle and uh, maybe take on some little, little Lego snow speeders here and, you know, take them out, you know, do some sort of battle scene. I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. But there you go. Uh... I think it's a great little set if you if you like these micro fighters. Uh, they may not be for everyone, but for me, I'm really enjoying these little little Lego sub series. Uh, I think they're great little builds. They're fun to build, and again, they I've said this before. They don't take up a lot of space. They don't take up a lot of money, which is always nice. You got a great little vehicle, and the minifigs alone are worth I think at least. The, the ten dollar price point, so so a great set to pick up. It's definitely worth it. Uh, if you're an Imperial uh, Adat -Ad fan, if you're a Lego fan, you know definitely get this set. It's worth the money. I I can't stress that enough. I I really uh, love these little mini sets. They're just so cool uh, to collect and build. So. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video and review. As usual, you know, comment, rate, subscribe. And until my next video, may the force be with you.